Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising multi tarot reading for November 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is just a general reading for Pisces star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore uh, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, well that is then a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about the Pisces month specifically career or relationship uh, you can purchase the extended monthly tower reading from my website for just dollar 49 in which we are I am to make two more spreads one specifically for career and one specifically for relationship <coughs> life for Pisces for the month of November so this is the general spread here for the month for Pisces and the first card is about the topic of Pisces um, month and we do have the King of Swords, highly career oriented card. Uh, it's uh, it basically what points here is, is that you are you are going to be very this month is very favorable for you to make negotiations. People are people are going to listen to you, not only in career in general, but also in relationship. You are to be able to kind of like lay down your arguments and people are to see a uh, reason behind those arguments. That Pisces is going to give you a, a great amount of influence and influence is power. So you will have the power to swirl the project or your relationship the way you want it. Very important here. Also, this car... <clears throat> is a card pointing to physical attraction, chemistry in between one person and another, favorable for those who are single as well. So basically they are going to attract on a chemistry level other people, people that they like, for example. King of, um, King of Swords, however, has one downside and this is the uh, drive power itself it, it basically uh, <clears throat> this the, the the tendency of the car is that you may you are going to like it and you may find yourself drowned into it and uh, that could make you unfortunately abuse it in uh, in some ways as you will see that people are to listen to you people are going to basically follow your advices your steps and um, <clears throat> That will give you a, a prerequisite of having a great amount of responsibilities toward your co-workers, you know, toward your uh, friends and families, toward your partners, into your career as well. What the point with the with the King of Swords is that you you will have the opportunity here to twist information or rather to lay down information, and people are to believe you. So uh, throughout the months of November and uh, how you're going to present the information, the truth, the, your, your opinions and your, the things that you do know depends entirely on you. What the sword suggests is that you stick to the truth but that doesn't mean that this card favors also those who are prone to bend the truth in their favor. The next card is the intentions. What you can do with all that influence and with all that power. We do have the world card. So the world card is about completion, it's about settling down scores, it's about liberty, it's about independence as well, it's about um, <clears throat> finishing one thing and in instantly afterwards a uh, embarking in on a new path, finding a new perspective. And in that particular follow-up, um, <clears throat> These, uh, these couple of cards are giving you the option to alter outcomes. So this is a, a re-negotiations of a certain terms that are in favor, that are not in your favor regarding, for example, a divorce. If you are going through a court case and the deal for the divorce was, you know, one thing now you can kind of like uh, renegotiate it into something else. <clears throat> or if the divorce is going in, in not in your favor, you can have a gather up of the two sides and, you know, negotiate a, a very good terms for yourself as well. So you can liberate 
from the strings that the court case itself is putting upon you. What I'm trying to say here is, is that because the world is completion, uh, a full completion, but in the same time, <clears throat> the king of swords, it's acting weakening to the world that means that you can change the completion the natural cause of completion in your favor by using the information that you do have and to alter the outcome of the situation using the power of your voice and it is something that uh, you should capitalize on fully for example if your partner into your relationship is doubting you that means that you have a big chance here throughout November to convince them otherwise all right or for example they're doubting you and they want to leave you you know they want to break relationship their relationship if you talk with them um, <clears throat> as much as it is needed you will be able to convince them to do otherwise to stay in it so very important here this card shows how you can change the course of events and these course of events can excuse me this card is pointing that you can change the course of events and that could happen through using your communicational skills through using the information that you do know to be true and of course not everybody needs to know the whole truth but only the pieces that are required <clears throat> The next card is, is um, showing the um, the challenges which are causing predicaments. We do have the Page of Swords, and that is the card of the original thinker. So what the card points here is is that um, well, it's a, a bit difficult to explain, but uh, you will have the part the, the the trouble to um, separate the fiction from the fact and I will try to explain you what I mean here so you do you will have that vast amount of information secrets as well you know and you may kind of strain from the original version of the um, of the event or of the situation kind of like trying to convince the others that the situation is not what the situation means and this is something that you know, um, what the situation is excuse me and this is something that is that is their a wrong approach here you have to convince them that the situation is what it is but it can be traversed into something else all right that the outcome can be altered and not that you need that you have to present the situation as something that the situation is not right now like a denial <clears throat> so it's very important here but it's very difficult to be assimilated i know but it's that is the best uh, as i can to explain it and for example you know if a, a certain project is not working very well um trying and for example you know um, your boss is wanting to shut down the project trying to convince them that the project actually is going very well will be the wrong approach here but instead show them that the project can be uh, saved can be over uh, can be traversed into a positive one you know and you will have the information required here to convince your boss in in this in this claim of yours in this um, statement of yours same thing into a relationship um, for example your partner is telling you that relationship isn't going on uh, well and uh, basically the uh, things are lost I mean they don't feel the same way In instead of trying to convince them that that isn't true <clears throat> convince them that you can for example change or this is a temporary thing you know and things are going to get back into normal etc etc you know you just don't deny the current state of the situation otherwise this is to be a huge predicament for you uh, the next card it is showing up the the resources that you can capitalize on a, a very strong card with uh, uh, with the uh, King of Swords and the Moon card points that 
others which are around you are going to be very susceptible to manipulation basically this card points that these people don't have rock solid opinions upon the situation itself your partner for your relationship your boss for the project their opinion comes from the fracti frantic a uh, frantic sense of that something has to change but they don't know how they don't know why all right and you come into that picture as the um <clears throat> as the great painter here to paint the picture the way that you want with your words again so you can uh, make them adopt your opinion you can make them adopt your um uh, your performance as well and and the way that you the, the way that you think and as well you know your ideas your imagination and in general um, your aims also so this is a, a great uh, <clears throat> this is a great combo that we do have here that these people do not they, they don't see the rational explanation of the of the situation and as you come into the picture you will be able to convince them into whatever you want to apart from that what is the true nature of the situation and the last card that we do have this is going to be the final outcome or what is going to be the result of all that we do have the hangman and the hangman um, <clears throat> one of the interpretation of the cards is uh, of this card is delays and uh, futile efforts this is one of the meaning but the other meaning is different perspective so at the end of the day through your um, meticulous and very subtle uh, usage of words and communication of skills here throughout the month Pisces you are to make the people see a, a different perspective upon the things so at the end of the day this is as a matter of fact as I am seeing the hangman I don't remember seeing it into such a positive light right pointing here that uh, the world around you again and the world um, that you live in into your career and into your relationship are to see your perspective they are to see where you're coming from they are to see um, <clears throat> why you know things aren't for example as bad as they think they are or even if they are very bad at this very moment there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that the skies darken right now they are to be put into light again and only thing that they need to do you know is just kind of like wait it's it's all that it takes because it's just a temporary thing so what we do have your solid argument here is that you need to tell them or you need to convince them that that is just a temporary thing and with enough patience and as well as the king of swords is very professional with enough professionalism uh, regarding your relationship things are going to be set back into normal again with a much greater perspective than before so that being said uh, this was your monthly tarot reading for november 2018 and uh, again <clears throat> this was just a, a general tarot reading for the pisces star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore uh, i did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you at the end to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.